hello, 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 hello. Give me yes, give me yes, give me one. Congratulations to all of you that just did the exam today. Give me yes, give me one. How's everyone doing? Hello, hello, hello. So many messages all over the place. You know what's so interesting? Because last night we turned the Telegram group off. We turned it off from 10 o'clock. Uma and I said, no more. No more access to the Telegram group just to calm everything down. We didn't open that group back until after the exam. So there was no communication, no communication whatsoever between exam times. And all of a sudden, once the group opens, like messages, everyone is like, ah! How's everyone doing today? I'm so excited. I just want to say congratulations. The first thing I want to say to all of you is well done. You should feel proud, very proud of yourself. It has been very difficult, challenging. You've put in all the work. You've given 100%. You've gone in there. You've done your best. You've written the exam. It is now totally out of your control. Okay, after this stage, there's nothing we can do. All we can do is focus forward with positivity. So um, today's session, the reason why I put this together is after every single exam, I always have to have a session because as you guys know, we never stop. Okay, this journey is continuous. So today's session is two things. I want you guys to chat because I know everyone wants to chat after the exam. I know that feeling is like, oh my God, I just want to talk, I want to talk. What did you think? How did you find this? So um, this is a very good opportunity for us to just come on here and to chat, but also it's very important for those of you doing the exam in June and in November, by right, 2023, this is a very, very good session for you as well, because in this session, you can get a lot of amazing tips from these amazing people that just sat the exam. So how's everyone doing tonight? How's everyone doing tonight? If you sat the exam a few, few hours ago, please type a yes, type a yes, type a yes. I just want to know how many of you did the exam. And then if you've not done the exam yet, perhaps you're doing the exam in 2023, just type 2023. Okay, so I like put a yes if you just done the exam between 2023, type 2023. If you're just here for fun, I'm not doing the exam, Marvin. I'm just here because I love to see you, Marvin. Then hey, just type yes. So great to have all of you on. Let's begin by welcoming all of you like I always do. Great to have the energy back on here. Fast time is in the house, Crypto Key, 104 of us in here. Nicole Camera, the one and only, did the exam today. Terja, has Terja doing? Good to have you on, Terja. Anna is doing the exam in 2023, so this will be a great session for you, Anna. This session is also for you. Tips will be flowing through today. These sessions, you don't want to miss the sessions for the world. I promise you. All of you doing in 2023, you love the, love the, love the people. Manjot in the house, Kat, Asha. Adeola, all of you doing 23, Doris, this session is going to help you so much. One of the reasons why we do this is so that these people give you all the tips, everything that can help you pass the exam. Great to have you. Did you guys feel prepared as much as you could be? What a question for Manjot. So let me just scroll back. Let me scroll back all the way, all the way, all the way. So um, I've been analyzing all the discussions that have been taking place on our previous shortcuts Telegram group. So interesting. Lots of questions. So I'm going to um, just go through some of the things, the feedback that I've received from you, uh, from the trainees. And then after that, the floor is open, right? This is a discussion from everyone. So I'm going to try to put in all your comments. I know so many comments will be coming up, but I'll try to put some structure to it. How many of you like some structure, type structure, type structure in the comments? I know everyone just wants to lash out. We have many people talk about the exam. What about this question? What about that question? Then we have those in the exam in 2023 asking, oh my God, was it tough? What came up with? What should we learn? Any tips? That's what we're going to do today. So we are here for everyone. So great to have all of you. Let me start by thanking all of you. Here's what we're going to do. So before I open the floor, the discussion to all of you to share your thoughts, um, I just want to say congratulations to all of you that um, did the exam. Well done, well done, well done. Okay, so very proud of all of you. Those of you doing the exam in 2023, we're always here for you. And this session is to help you as well. 130 of us. If you're excited for this session, please hit the like button, ladies. Hit the like button. Hit the like button. Let me give you some of the GPHC exam feedback. November 2022. Yes, another exam. We have just done another exam. And you know what? I'll tell you what my gut feeling is. I've done this for so many years. And I'm always expecting after an exam to hear a lot of negative things. So this is what I want to say to all of you that just did the exam. The first thing you need to remember is that normally once you write an exam, what sort of questions do you remember? Do you remember the questions you get right or do you remember those that you think you got wrong? 
So what we generally do most of the time is we only remember those questions that we struggle with. I remember when I did my exam, I, I honestly, 100%, without a doubt, believed I'd failed calculations. I thought there's no way. I was almost crying. I even called my dad. I'm like, dad, it's over. It's over. I've definitely failed my calculations. But guess what? When the results came out, I totally smashed it. That is a story, and that's what's going to happen with many of you, right? So what happens is we come out, remember, but at the end of the day, perhaps I might have filled five questions or six questions or seven questions or even eight questions, but I still passed the exam. So don't be worried. Don't be stressed. Many of you are counting the few questions you got wrong, and you're blowing it out of proportion because you filled maybe 10 questions, and it feels like you filled 100 questions. I promise you, be positive, relax. It's fine. You will still pass this exam. I have a very good feeling. So um, I'll give you, um, on the Telegram group, I remember Umar put a very interesting comment. And he said, and this is true because he's told me this even different times, but um, one of his friends missed 20, 12 questions in calculations, right? Missed 12 questions in the calculations exam and still passed the exam. I, someone as well missed about seven questions in the exam. Many people, I have, have so many examples of trainees that have gone into the exam and they've not answered the number of questions. They totally didn't see them or they ran out of time. They missed six questions, seven questions, and they still passed the exam. And I promise you right now, there may be some um, trainees on here, not trainees, but pharmacists on here right now that have passed this exam and they actually missed a number of questions, maybe five, six, seven, or eight questions, but they still passed the exam. So if that's you, if you're on here, please help all of these people on here that are worried because they didn't answer certain questions or the thing because they missed two or three or four questions and calculations and have failed. No, no, no. You still have a very, very, very big chance of passing the exam. It's not over until you get the results, okay? Post-exam, you tend to remember the things that you got wrong. You only remember the difficult things. You only talk about those harder questions, but you don't remember the many questions that you absolutely smashed and got them correct. So let me go through some of the feedback that I got from most of you from the group. So those of you that are doing the exam in 2023, this is what I managed to put together in the few minutes of looking at all those discussions. So here's what I've got. So first of all, congratulations to all of you for doing this. And I wish you guys all the best. I believe you will do well. So here's what I got. Can you guys all see this and make it a bit bigger? Right. So here's um, some of the feedback I've received from the trainees. And I think it represents really the reality of the exam, right? Looking at what everyone is saying. So you can also put your comments down and tell me if you agree with some of these things or if you have done the exam. Is this a fair analysis of this exam for today? But um, the first thing I had was someone say, I found the clinical grim. So my understanding and my belief is the calculations seem to be okay. So many people said the math was a lot easier than June, right? So students that did the exam in June and did the exam again in November, a number of them have come up to say, oh, you know what, Marvin, to be honest, um, this calculations um, was a lot easier than calculations in June. I also have the general sense that the calculations paper for this exam seemed to be a lot better for most people than the clinical paper. This was the reverse in June. In June, many people thought, wow, clinical was okay, but calculations was a disaster. And this time, I have that feeling. So if that's you, that's your experience, just type a yes, type a yes, you felt that clinical was awful, but you know what, calculations wasn't too bad, type a yes, 171 of us in here, if you're loving the session, please hit the like button, hit the like, 171 of us on here. So um, another person said, we all left flushed and exhausted, right, questions were wordy, too many SPCs. So here is what I gather from this exam. I, I did not do the exam, so I'm not in the best place to really talk about it. You guys are better off, right? But what I have heard people say is that I have a, a feeling that this specific exam this year, well, this November exam, I have a feeling that the, um, the calculations wasn't really bad, right? Those are people who are fine. The calculations was okay. I'm not getting too many complaints about calculations. I also have a feeling that the clinical wasn't as bad however the, it was quite wordy but i feel that the questions were a bit long long spcs time consuming a lot of information to skim through um lots of calculations perhaps in the clinical but the last sentence i have there from one of the trainees and some of them have been honest and we said hey marvin you know what um this exam was doable maybe we'll just need a bit more time so my general understanding is that most of you i feel personally that most of you, well, I could talk to those of you on the combo course. <laughs> I don't want to talk to everyone, but I have a feeling 
looking at some of the things that came up in this exam, that majority of you, especially those in the combo course, I have this feeling that you will pass this exam. I honestly think that the results will be better than most of you think and that most of you say. So here's my conclusion about this exam. This is my conclusion about this exam. I may be wrong, but this is my conclusion. My conclusion is the GPS, GPS exam, 2022 November, calculations was okay. It was fine. Clinical was doable, but clinical questions were a bit too wordy. That's how I analyze this exam. So um, I put together a few things. For those of you doing it in 2023, if you're doing the exam in 2023, let me put that because I can't see your comments right now. If you are doing the exam in 2023, I need you to do me a favor right now. I just need you to type in, type in me. Just type in me because I want to show you something. Just type in me if you are doing this exam in 2023. By the way, let me see what you guys are saying. So Basim said, yes, I agree. I feel like some questions require more time to think. Um, Manjo do an exam in 2023. That's blessed. What for you? Um, Nicole Camera, let's see. Yeah, like Nicole Camera did the exam. Let me see what you guys are saying. Let everyone see what you guys are saying, right? Let's see what the thoughts are. So I've given my thoughts. I've given my thoughts. Let me see what you guys have to say. Those of you that were the exam, right? Nicole Camera, the lovely Nicole Camera. It was my first sitting and found cards hard. So Nicole found cards hard. Um, I've got calculations paper two were ridiculous. Right. Um, what do we have here? We've got when you guys say need to link all the chapters, was it hard to do during revision? So I'll get to someone doing the exam later. I want to see what you guys thought. Those of you that actually did the exam, there's so many comments here. I want to try my best to get some of these. Um, Nicole Camera, but we call them too many SPCs and long details to read about each patient. Okay. Um, HA, did you do the exam? I don't know. Memorizing notes doesn't help you. You need to understand all the topics and be able to interlink. Okay, I see that someone probably giving some advice. Um, anyone at the exam, what do you guys think? Right, let's see. Hassan, honestly, I felt the same after sitting the jury because Hassan is very past the exam. I thought clinical was really hard, but I did better than I thought. And you always remember the questions you got wrong. Hassan has been there, done that, went through the same feelings like you, and he passed the exam. So guys, feel positive. No more feelings to feel this way, but I promise you, most of you have done a lot better than you think. Coconut Singh. What did Coconut Singh say? I found the papers less intense than anticipated. This is an honest guy or girl. <laughs> Cards was a lot simpler. Clinical was tough, but not mock paper tough. So here's what Coconut Singh is saying. And Coconut Singh, for some reason, just sounds... I don't know Coconut Singh, but Coconut Singh just sounds honest, doesn't it? Like, the name is a bit dodgy, but there's something about Coconut Singh that makes you feel like Coconut Singh is an honest person. So, Coconut Singh is actually saying that the, these papers were less intense than anticipated, and that cast was a lot simpler, and that clinical was tough. Not to that clinical was tough, but it's not as tough as the smoke papers. So, perhaps we can establish one thing for those of you doing in 2023, that this exam... It's not as tough as some of these mock papers that have been driving you guys crazy. All right, let's see. Nayla, Nayla Naya says, it's definitely not just about memorizing. You need to understand. Okay, understanding. Anyone else? Let me see some feedback about the exam. Anyone, you need to understand. You need to understand some interactions. What's your feedback? What do you say? Practice math. So people give a lot of advice about what to do. So here are the things, um, some of the areas that came up from what I see in the group. That's what people say. Um, was, okay, let's see. We've got Romzi. Romzi says, there were similar questions on the exam as they were in the GPC website, like the black triangle question. So remember we said questions do come up, they do repeat different questions. So watch out for that. Not exactly the same question, but similar concepts. Um, let's see, Scarf K, Scarf K, Scarf K says, the maths was much better than June. This is an only person that did the exam in June and saying calculations was better than June. June, June cards was something else, but clinical was quite challenging due to the sheer amount of chunky SPCs. So a few years back, um, I don't know if you guys remember me telling you this story, but a few years back, probably um, I think about four years, I had a guy, I've got a video on my YouTube, a guy called uh, Muhammad, and when he did the exam, the year he did the exam was the year when the, the exam changed, and it was such a, it wasn't a difficult exam, but very long SPCs. So the challenge with that exam was the questions were not tough, but they were just so worried. And this was about four years ago. And I always talk about this story because I remember Muhammad in that year, he even had one of his friends in the exam. He had to stop for about five minutes to put his head down just to take a break. 
because it was that intense reading those questions. And the interesting thing about these guys, there were about six of them in the group. All of them, right, that were studying the group, they finished that exam about half an hour, 20 minutes before time. And why everyone else was struggling. So imagine right now, people are talking about clinical was so worthy. Imagine there were people in that exam that finished about 20 minutes or 30 minutes before time. So when I asked them, what was the secret? How did you guys all finish this exam so early, despite the fact that it was so worthy? He told me that the secret for them was that they started revising early. These guys started revising around August, September. And then once they were revising, they were timing themselves each time under time conditions. So generally, we say um, a calculations question should take about three minutes. They were trying to do it within two minutes and the clinical about 45 seconds. And they started doing this very early. So by the time they got to the exam, they were absolutely smashing it. So those of you right now taking some feedback from these people, if you really want to get better and prepare yourself, make sure that once you start revising and you're doing all your work, do those questions under time conditions, time yourself, time yourself, start practicing your speed. Okay, so these are the main things, um, just little things I've got from different people about um, how they felt about the exam. Now, here are the areas that got tested. So, they have not all the areas, but just some of them. I guess we'll get more detail and people might compile this later. But here are the areas that I put down that got tested. So, those of you doing the exam in 2023, please watch out for these areas. And then after that, I'm going to take all your different... Oh, what have I just done there? No, I didn't want to get that slide away. Um, after, I'm going to take all your different answers and see what you guys think. So, let me take this off. Let me hide this comment so you can see. So, here's what I've got. Um, EM, EMQs, so most of the things that we talk about on the combo course, went through many of these things, and it looks like they, most of them came up. So, um, Alias says OTC was heavy in this exam. Let me just put that comment on because come on. OTC was heavy in this exam, so it looks like there's a lot of OTC in this exam as well. Interesting. All right, so here's so here are the areas that um, some people have mentioned that some of these things came up. Um, EMQs, your electrolytes, so look like you guys have questions on electrolytes. Um, normally, you always have questions on electrolytes. Um, HA says, start now. Start now. I tell everyone this. Join the combo course now. Don't wait until February. Now. This is the time to join. Start now. Paracetamol doses came up. Every exam, you always have a question on paracetamol doses. I always tell people, just learn that because that's a gift. All right? So paracetamol doses, the question on COPD, monitoring, interactions, for example, methanamic acid, tranexamic acid, questions. Just a few questions on the CNS. We don't know why this is happening, but um, in June, there's hardly any question in CNS. And all of a sudden, apparently, you guys do not have a lot of questions on the CNS either today. Um, childhood rashes. Yeah, we always talk about your childhood rashes. Know your childhood rashes. Those will be in 2023. And also, there's also an aspect now moving towards diversity and inclusion. So you will see that even with previous shortcut training, we're trying to incorporate, um, make sure that our training is diverse. So you will see more scenarios of rather than just rashes on white skin. You see scenarios of rashes on black or ethnic minority skin. So that you can have a whole representation of what you actually see in the pharmacy. The same way as you meet people with different um, backgrounds, different genders, male, female, transgender, all of this. This is all part of our society and we have to incorporate this. So most of your questions will obviously reflect different parts of our population to make sure there's a lot of inclusion, so diversity, so you might see more of those. So don't learn your rashes on different skins. Okay, so um, duty of candor, that's come a few times. Um, type 1 diabetes, you always get things on diabetes. My understanding is there were probably a lot of questions from the cardiovascular system and from diabetes, the endocrine. Looks like there were loads from CV and endocrine as well. So... um. Type 1 diabetes or questions on infections, we always talk about infections, otitis, cellulitis, UTI, sepsis. So, yes, on the combo course, we highlight all of these things. Um, antibiotic labels, definitely your labels, especially with your tetracyclines. I'm your Daron, yes, Amy is, oh, we all know that mnemonic. Don't say, don't say, I'll get banned. So, um, yeah, question, I'm your Daron. We spoke about methotrexate, how important it is. Because it's one of those high-risk drugs that is a standalone high-risk drug on your list of high-risk drugs. Always get questions from methotrexate, and it looks like that came up as well. So IBS questions, contraceptives, your ulipristals, your IUDs, curies, hypertension, pregnancy, asthma, definitely. Um, insulin, 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 sites of rotations, knowing how to add administration of insulin. Insulin is obviously a high-risk drug. We always mention how important it is. Theophylline, gout. Control drugs, so it looks like MEP questions on destruction, safe code study, patient returns with things like tramadol. Um, what do you do when the pharmacist is absent? Very important question. You need to know that as a responsible pharmacist. What are you allowed to do? 
uh, in the absence of a responsible pharmacist, questions on antipsychotics, questions on DOAX, and um, let me just close that. Questions on DOAX and questions on, I'm trying to get my slides up. Okay, questions on DOAX, questions on lithium. We'll talk about lithium, high-risk drug, lithium. I know everything on lithium. Carbamazepine, di diabetes and heart failure. We spoke about the whole change in diabetes, updated guidelines, diabetic guidelines. You definitely need to know it inside out. SSRIs, withdrawal, steroids. So these are some examples of places, um, areas that got tested today. So those of you in the exam in 2023, please take note of these things and just make sure that you learn this, these areas. We've obviously mentioned that a lot in the combo course. So my um, general feeling is you will most, well, all of you will do on the exam. It's going to be good. It wouldn't be that bad, right? It, will, it wouldn't be as bad as you think it will be. So well done to all of you. Those of you that are um, preparing for the exam, it's a good opportunity for you guys to ask questions directly to these trainees that did the exam, our future pharmacies. So here, um, I'm just going to go through some of your comments and some of your questions. So join in the discussion. If you have any questions, please ask. Please ask. Questions on sign order and bet scripts came up from Nicole. What we got here, literally something completely weird. Asthma guidelines. Guys, learn your asthma guidelines. Asthma guidelines. It looks like there was a lot on asthma. And I can understand that. Asthma, COPD, but asthma, respiratory is a big one. So um, learn your respiratory system inside out. Asthma, COPD, learn this stuff. Got questions on CD returns, destruction. So whilst you're in your pharmacy, make sure you're not only preparing for the exam, but you're preparing to be an amazing pharmacist and the many things that you need to learn on the job. So deal with those CDs. Be active in your pharmacy. Gold guidelines. Um, Nifedipine and Reynolds was the answer. Grapefruit juice, question mark. We have to look at the full question. Um, cautionary and advisory labels. That's some more advice for all of you doing the exam next watch out for your cautionary and your advisory labels by the way thank you all of you that have done the exam for sharing this one thing i really admire and what i always try to do is get people to come back and support the others that are on the journey so um when the previous um students did this exam in june and those of you that were doing in november now i had this session as well with those in june giving tips giving advice for those sitting in november and i always try to do that so that um the next group benefits from the previous group Right, so this is very good. Please hit the like button if you're enjoying, if you're learning from this session. Share this, invite your friends, colleagues that will be doing the exam. This is very, very important information. Statins and end of life. Scarf, very good advice from Scarf. Try your best not to get overworked, guys, from people discussing answers. It only makes people panic when they realize they got a different answer. Yes, I always discourage this. There's no point discussing all these answers because nothing is going to change. All you're trying to do is either get yourself stressed or you're trying to make yourself feel good, but you end up being stressed because no one knows the right answers until the GPH has smacked these questions. So the, the only thing you can do for yourself now is just relax and just leave it in the hands of whoever is in charge of your destiny. Right? So there's nothing you can do now. Enjoy yourself, relax. Once the results come out, then you can only de determine then how you've performed. Apart from that, never give up. Pre-rest shortcuts definitely prepares you well for the exam, honestly. Mnemonics are superb from Nicole. Thank you, Nicole. Thank you so much. Okay, so what's the answer? I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go through the answers for these questions because that's not what I want to do. Answering questions, getting everyone stressed, but I just want people putting up the areas that got tested. All right. Um, let's see any more questions, any questions and advice that can help those sitting the exam. What we got, what's going to who's going who's going to start revision from tomorrow? Islam, start your revision ASAP. ASAP. Because you know what? You, you always run out of time. There's never enough time. That's why it shocks me when I hear people say, oh no, don't revise until January. Don't start revising until February. That's the worst advice anyone can give you. You want to start as early as possible because there's just not enough time. Even many people, most of them can tell you right now, even last night, there are probably many trainees on here that were like, Oh, I wish I could have another extra month or even another two weeks, an extra one week. I'll be a lot better. So you're always against time. You're very busy. The pharmacy is busy. You're working full time. So you cannot wait. You don't have to be very intense at the beginning. You build up your intensity as time goes on, but you definitely have to start early. Even if it's just doing five or two or three calculation questions a day, 
doing like four clinical questions or just reading on the cardiovascular system, trying to start making your notes. You need to start. You need to start. Don't leave everything and start after the new year. It's a very, very, very silly and risky idea. Because what will happen? What if you say to yourself, you want to do it, um, start in January and then you fall ill? Something happens and you can't maybe study for the month. How are you going to feel about that? So start early. You've got time now. Start now. Pay attention to the last line of calculations questions. Another tip for you. Another tip. Another tip. Georgina had 100% in her calculations. Georgina does a lot of training now with us. She is amazing. 98% in clinical. You will do better than you think. That's her advice. I remember I thought I failed and I didn't. Do not overthink your performance. And that's absolutely true. And I understand, ladies and gentlemen, it's easier said than done. I know it's, it's in the human nature to think about things and, and to look for the answers and to think and to go through your BNF and to speak to people just to give yourself that comfort that you've got things right. You may even be mentally working on your head how many you've got wrong just to make sure you pass. But all of that is not necessary, right? There's just too many questions to go through. All you have to do is just wait and see. Enjoy with your family. Do those things that you've not been able to do. The sacrifice you've made, not spending time with friends, family, not enjoying those lovely things because you've been revising and revising and revising, not being able to have a good night's sleep. This is a time where you need to chill out, watch Netflix, get something, get on the sofa, get some popcorn, enjoy life. Right? You've got like a month to the exam to just enjoy yourself. Enjoy yourself. Pregnancy, asthma question, hypertension. We spoke about this as well, the course. So great stuff. I have a very good feeling for all of you. I have a very good feeling. Man job. My pharmacy ended up busy. That's why I'm interested with OTC because I don't get much exposure. So Manjo, let me tell you guys something. Manjo, because I know you're on, um, I know you are on the previous shortcuts course and the combo course. I've got very, very good news for all of you. Great news for all of you on the combo course. We are finally, finally going to be putting together an amazing OTC course for the first time. Everyone's been asking us, we've been doing MEP course, and everyone's been asking, God, girls, OTC, OTC. We've been working on a very, very intense OTC course, which is going to be released very soon. But that's going to be after the new year. So you, I promise you, you know when I promise you something, I deliver, right? When I say something, listen. I'm not one of those people that just gives you little things here and there. When I take time, I make sure I bring you the best. And the OTC course that you guys are about to get will blow your mind, right? Even the pictures, even the pictures. I'm working the pictures, have those diverse pictures. Guys, I'm excited for you. I promise you. So watch this space. Manjo, you're not going to lack a single thing. I promise you. This course will cover every single thing you need for OTC. In an exciting, engaging, fun way like we always do. So it's all good. It's all good. Great stuff. Yay. Has that says finally. Finally, yeah. It's been about four years. It's been about four years. We've been working on this on this course. And wow. Wow. I'm excited. <laughs> I feel like doing an exam again. I get excited. I really get excited. I need to calm down. Marvin, if I buy the combo course, can you promise I will pass? The shades of bricks. Listen, what, my, what, what else can I say to you? There's hardly any course out there that's going to tell you, listen, if you don't pass, we'll give you your money back. I don't know what, what, I, what I promise I can give you. I, I put myself on the line. I take a risk. I say to you, listen, I know this is going to get you passed. I know I'll do everything. And I'm not just saying that because I give 100%. There's even a course. You know this. And I'm even giving you so much assurance. I'm saying, listen, I promise you, if you don't pass, I will give you your money back. So you've got nothing to lose. And if you do pass, guess what? Massive investment. Right. So, hey, the shade of bricks. All I can say to you is I promise you, I promise you, if you put the effort in, you will pass and you have nothing to lose. And if you don't pass, I'll give you your money back. That's how confident I am in our information. If not, I will never say that. I will never say to you, I'll give you money back. But I'm that confident that I'm telling you, if you don't pass, take your money back. And that's it. You will pass. <laughs> Great stuff. Will you offer OTC course, Marvin? Yes, it is coming out this year. By January, you get more information in the coming weeks, but the course is finally here. We're just doing the final touches to this course, but oh, this course is going to be amazing, I'm telling you. OTC and MEP, we're going to be doing it live, and we're even going to have Q&As as well. We're literally developing a course, not just a course, not just an OTC course, but we're also developing... Q&A sessions that go with each part, each topic. Man, I'm giving too much away. I'm, I'm excited. You will love it. 
All right, let's go, let's go, let's go. Uh, more questions, more questions. Let's help as many people as possible. Um, let's see, let's see. Isla's got something long over there. Isla Dalali, the lovely Isla. Great to have you. This guy dedicates his entire life to students. He has four kids, a family, a manager, personal trainer, but arranging this webinar after a long day of work for us for free. Oh, thank you, Isla. That's that's a love heart. Really appreciate you appreciating some of the things that I do. Thank you so much. It means a lot. Yes, and she's absolutely right. I got four kids, work, manager, job, all of these things. But what I do is for my passion, right? You cannot fake, like I cannot fake my passion to help you. I cannot even fake it. You guys know. If not, you will know if Marvin doesn't like us or Marvin is faking things. Or my, I, I really, all I think about is how to make you succeed. Like morning tonight. That's why I'm doing this session now. I could have just sat down to find you've done the exam and that say, why would I be doing this session? Why would I be sitting down here? I should be chilling with my kids. I should be doing something else. But you know what? I am here and it's not the first year consistently. Every single year has been the case. Right? Every year. So it's my pleasure because all I want to see is see you pass. All I want is for you to pass and that brings me the biggest joy. If I can help you achieve your goal, that's my job done. So great stuff. And let's see you. any more questions. Put them down. Anyone's got questions doing the, doing the exam, please go through all these comments because there's some real golden nuggets on here. Things to help you. Um, Ayla says also you join, you also join a supportive family when you join the course. Exactly. It's not just about the course. I, I, what you're missing out is the community. We have a very, very interactive community. Many people pass this exam not just because of the combo course, but because of these lovely people like Ayla and everyone that is part of the previous Shortcuts family. That family has a very, very big part to play with everyone's success. And I cannot un underestimate the power of our previous Shortcuts family. It's probably about 50% of the contribution to your success in terms of your confidence building, your support, banter, all of that stuff. It all happens there. Why can't we get real GPLC papers for practice? How oh, you have to ask the GPLC that question? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. We'll have to find out. Since says, Marvin is the GOAT. Couldn't have sat the exam without these vids. Oh, thanks, Coconut Singh. Thanks, thanks. And once you pass, make sure you come up to Northampton. Let us celebrate. Um, my pharmacy. And any more questions? I know you guys are putting comments. I just need to get your comments up. If I pass, let's see, Rahim Khan says, if I pass, I will be living proof it can be done in 12 weeks. Rahim, you will pass. You will pass, and it can be done. I know people that have done it even in four weeks, right? So it is possible, and you will pass. You will absolutely nail this exam. Inshallah, we all pass. Just make dua for all of us, guys. You all work so hard to get to this point in life. Absolutely. You should all feel proud of yourselves. I remember you all have master's degrees. I'll tell you what. Um, let me just tell you guys a quick, quick story. Right? So um, I received this news today, and I was over the moon. I was jumping. I was screaming my house. I was so, so happy. And I was happy because we had this trainee that was on the course about, I'll probably say it was about three years to four years ago. Right? And we have lots of trainees, right? But I remember her so well. And the reason why I remember this specific trainee pharmacist was because she was one of those people that was helping every single person in our group, right? She was a very active family member. Any question anyone had, she would go out and answer. She was helping every single person 24-7. Such a big heart. One of the biggest hearts I've actually seen in a human being. Right? And she um, she done the exam two times and she failed. And this was her final attempt. In her final attempt, she was helping every single person. Whatever you were stuck in, she was the first person. She would leave voice notes. She would get you the answer. She would get you the resources. She was sharing every single thing. What a lovely person. She was one of the most popular people we had in the group. So she did the exam and her final exam, she failed. She failed the exam three times, right? She failed the exam and I was devastated. We were all devastated because this was someone that was helping so many people. And many of these trainees actually passed. I made them pass and she failed, right? This is why the fact she was helping so many people. She's the one that failed. But the thing that stood out, I just want to tell you guys this because it's so important. What stood out about her is despite the fact that she failed, she still continued to believe. She didn't do exams. She's not a pharmacist. 
but she stayed positive and she realized that she still has a master's degree. And she took everything, she continued to work hard, continued to be positive. And she's one of those people, I'll tell you the truth, I'm just gonna say this was personal. When she actually filled the exam, we decided, because we obviously have a money back guarantee, and I was like, really sorry about what's happened. This is your money back for the course that you paid for. We're giving you a refund. And she refused. I should feel, but she said, no, I don't want it. She said, no, I don't want it because you guys helped me so much. Please keep it. Right? She literally refused to have a refund. And she went on and really devastated. I'm sending out all these messages, but she had such a positive spirit. Because she kept saying to herself, yes, I feel, but you know, maybe that's the will of God for my life. And I'll just do what I have to do. And she continued and she went on, worked hard. And today I received the news from her. I knew this was a few years ago. She sent me news today. She went on a new course and she's now um, what she, a physician um, assistant, right? She's a physician assistant. She passed her physician assistant course. She's doing so well. She's getting married in a few days. And you know what? She loves what she's doing. She's got so much um, prospects, very happy, excited for her life. And her life is moving in such a positive direction. So all I want to say to you is give your best, but everything that happens in life will happen for a reason. Don't be the person that is so scared, like pharmacy is the only way. We are pharmacy, that's the end of my life. Always be positive. Whatever results you get in life, it is fine, right? It's not the results, it's what you do with the results. The first thing is all of you have got a master's degree. Feel proud of yourself. You're one of the elites in the world. Imagine if someone came to you and said, oh, I feel my life is over. I'm not going to become anything because I, I didn't get my PhD. Because I didn't have a PhD, I feel hopeless. And I feel like there's nothing else I could do in my life because I didn't get a PhD. You're going to go, are you, are you kidding me? The many people masters. I've got master's in pharmacy and I've got a good career. There's so many opportunities with, that, with just a normal degree. So what I want to say to you is really believe in yourself. You have a lot of resources. You've got master's degree. Whatever happens, whatever outcome you have in life, turn it into a positive. Everything happens for a reason, okay? So stay positive. You will all pass. You will all do very well. But whatever happens in your life, turn it around. Just like this lady did, you can do it too, all right? Be positive always. A lot of opportunities there for you. So Grace, I think I'm going to leave you guys. Enjoy yourself. Thank you so much. Those of you on here, please watch this video again. Go through the questions. I know there are many, many, many answers in here. There are many, many answers. So please go through, please go through all of these questions. They will help you so much. Look at the answers, look at the discussions and use this to get yourself forward. So I say, Marvin, can you answer me? Who say, Marvin, can you answer me? Marvin, can you answer me, please? I chose the February one, but I want to swap for the one happening now. Doris, if you chose the February course, that's fine. You can swap, just email Vince, uh, right? Because you can join at any time. You're going to have five months access. So just email Vince at info at prewireshortcuts.com and tell him whatever date you want to start. You can switch at any time and he's going to sort that out for you, okay? You can, you can start this course. You can start the course at any time. You have 20 weeks, regardless of when you join. You're going to have five months access, all right? So it doesn't matter. Just let us know when you want to start, and you're going to start then, and we're going to give you five months. All right, so take care, everyone. Let me let you guys enjoy. Have a lovely evening. Take care of yourselves. Thank you for joining. Stay positive always. Congratulations to all of you that have done the exam. I have a very, very good feeling for you. My heart tells me that many of you are going to do so well. My heart tells me that we're going to have a good pass rate in November probably one of the better ones that we've had in November. My heart tells me you guys have done a lot better than you think you have, right? So good luck. Stay positive. Enjoy yourself. Chuck the books away. Burn the books. Burn the notes. Burn the BNF. Burn the MEP. You're not going to need this stuff anymore. You will become pharmacists. You will become pharmacists. Any questions for the combo course before I disappear? Because some of you are asking me questions about the combo course. Marvin, do you stay in the GC even after the 20 weeks? All right. So, yes. So, this is the thing about the family, right? So, this is what people don't know. But once you join the previous shortcuts family, you're always going to be in the family, right? So, you always, so even after 20 weeks, you still have access to the Telegram group. So, all of you that are on there now, when your five months is over, you can either get some extra access if you wanted to. After your five months, you, can, you have an option of getting more weeks access. But one thing, one thing you have for sure is you always continue to have access to all those resources in the Telegram group. So once your access is over, that's just for the course, but you continue to have access to our Telegram group for life. When does the new MEP course start the same time as the OTC course? 
The OTC course and the MEP course will both start together. It's, it's going to be about, um, I think the course is going to last about eight weeks, right? It's going to be long. It's going to last about eight weeks and it's going to be a live course. So there'll be a lot of interactions. We're going to have an amazing, amazing tutor with you. We're going to be there with you. And you're going to also have Q&A sessions as well with the course. And this is going to start in February. So once um, the Q&A sessions in our current course finishes in January, then we're going to start the MEP course and the OTC course. But all that information, all the details will be sent out to you. But I promise you guys, like I always do, this course is going to blow your mind. OTC and MEP, better than you've ever seen before. I promise you. So much good stuff for you. How much the extra week access? So extra week access is half price, right? It's half price of the course. And remember that too is refundable. It's all refundable as well if, you, if you're unsuccessful, but you all succeed. So it's half price of the course, right? So if you had access between now and January and your access finished in January and you decided, oh Marvin, I think I want another five months access, then you're going to pay half price of the course that you paid. And that's going to give you access on for another five months. Right? You're going to pay half price access for another five months. If you're unsuccessful, but you wouldn't be unsuccessful, you will still have the money back of the full amount that you've paid plus if you pay the extra for an extension. So it works out very, very well for you. Okay, what else have we got? What people write for clinical audit question? <laughs> break it bad boy. Bad boy, break it bad. Still trying to get this answer. Don't worry about the people, but boy, the people might be wrong. <laughs> Thought cards went well. Clinical was decent with a number of tricky questions. Sarada, very honest lady, Sarada. So in a way, for Sarada, it was fine, right? She's not saying it was easy for the clinical, but she thinks it was decent, right? Because some exams could be challenging, but it doesn't mean that you're going to fail. You could still say, I think I'm going to pass an exam. It was challenging, but I think I could pass the exam. I want to get the course, but I don't want it to expire before my June exam. So I was wondering, yes, so you can do that. You can do that. You could get the course now and you can get an extension. After that, all right? Most people within five months, they're fine. Like make all the notes, then the Telegram group, they have all the support and everything they need. And even when they don't have access to the videos, it's no problem whatsoever. They're still fine. Okay. Um, any more questions? Any more questions? Any more questions? Thank you, Marvin from Samia for being so uplifting. It is my pleasure. It is my pleasure. That's what I do. And I'm so glad to know all of you. And you know what? I cannot even wait to meet you guys in person. Let's just have a great time. Nicole Camera, one of the names I call all the time because I, I know Nicole Camera. Just amazing, amazing. Nicole, thank you so much, Marvin. Really appreciate everyone. So really just here just to support you guys, right? All of you done the exam and those of you doing the exam to come, we're always here to support you guys. Oh, it was because they already go. Okay, now this is someone answering a question from the exam. Great stuff, ladies and gents. So I think I've answered all your questions. Other questions that you want answered, please, there's probably someone that's answered it in the group. Just go through and look at the answer. Birthday wishes, dear Marvin. Thank you. It was my birthday two days ago. Thank you so much for the birthday wishes. You all made it great. Um, Cole, are we having a board? Yes, man, job. 2023, we're working on our pharmacy board. We always have an amazing, well, not always, since last year, we have an awards show for previous shortcuts. So we're going to have an awards show. So we will work on that normally around March time. We're going to have an amazing awards show. Party is just great. It is great. Sukena says, we are pharmacists already. Absolutely. You're all pharmacists already. Believe in yourself. I know you will do well. I have a very, very good feeling. I have a better feeling for this exam than I had for the June exam. And you had an 80% pass rate in the June exam, just to show you how much, right? So I have a better feeling for this exam than the previous exam. And the previous exam was 80% pass rate. So I think you, we will have very, very positive um, results. That's why I believe many of you will do so well. You will do well. Okay, as I said, will the OTC be part of the note? So the OTC course is a standalone course. So it's not part of the combo course. The combo course is calculations and clinical, but the OTC is a standalone course with the MEP. Great. Any more questions? Any more questions, lovely people? If you wanted more information, if you wanted more information, just go to www.prewareshortcuts.com. So that's the website. If you want to find out more about the course, you want to join us, then just go to our website. You have more information on there, right? That's the website scrolling at the bottom of the screen. So much content. You join our free mailing list as well, and you get loads of daily questions or questions every, every few days. 
Happy birthday, man like Marvin. Yes, man like Hassan, you know the rest. So thank you all for coming. Thank you all for your support. Thank you all for interacting. Thank you for sharing your experiences. I look forward to seeing all of you soon. Thank you. There's been so many of us on here tonight. Have a great evening and stay, stay in touch. Stay tuned. There's a lot more coming your way. Take care and I look forward to seeing you all soon. Bye.